What's going on YouTube? So I got the idea to make a couple of custom trucks and I have all these lying around so let's run them down the track and see what two are the fastest. I really like this solid muscle casting by Hot Wheels and I just so happen to have a lot of them. Let's see how they did on the track. All the trucks were run down the Hot Wheels Super 6 lane and I only did 12 feet. I didn't have enough room at the time to do the scale quarter mile, which is 22 feet. But these are the times based on a 12 foot track. That little Volkswagen truck was actually the fastest, but I wanted to keep that for something else. So it looks like number five and number seven are going to be my little experiments here. So, with every custom, we start by drilling out the posts. Started with a 0.5 millimeter bit. This one was incredibly stubborn. I had to move up to a bigger drill bit to get the post out. And even after it was drilled out, still didn't want to let go. I ended up having to pry it open with a screwdriver. Sometimes they come out easy, sometimes not so much. But I eventually got it open. eventually and there you have it that is the inside of the solid muscle the solid muscle has a plastic base so it was easy to clip the tabs off that hold the axles in actually kind of changed the way I clip these tabs now I clip just the top of them so you have to work them a little bit to get them out but you can put them back in and they'll hold the axles straighter than if you took them off all the way at the bottom. That way when you put them back in, you don't have to worry about keeping them straight or having the axles awkward or misplaced. And it holds them in a little bit better while you glue them back in. And there is the number five, completely disassembled. Now on to number seven. I do like the paint job on this, but I'm going to change that too. Again, we'll start by drilling out the posts. This one was a little bit easier to drill out. And I had to practice from the previous car, so I'm sure that helped also. And there is the number seven solid muscle taken apart. And again, plastic base, a lot easier to clip these tabs than on the metal bases, which can at some time be impossible to clip. But as you see here, I actually clipped them all the way down to the bottom. So kind of changing up the way I do things a little bit. The most important thing though is to make sure you don't screw up that axle and those wheels if you plan on reusing the wheels which I do. Now it's time to strip the paint. As you can see, I drilled the post and inserted the 256 by 3 button head screws, which will hold the chassis to the body. I used the citrus stripper to strip the paint on these. As you can see, despite the awful camera footage, you can actually see the paint bubbling up a little bit there on the black solid muscle stuff works fantastic and here's the number seven after it's been stripped and uh, the body was actually in really good shape wasn't pitted wasn't too bad and here's the first coat of paint and here's the number five car the body on this one was in pretty rough shape. Uh, it was pitted and just had a lot of problems with it. That I had to use a lot of sand in to get smooth. These solid muscle trucks kind of remind me of a NASCAR type truck. So I'm kind of going with a NASCAR theme here. And the number 7 turns into the number 13. 
which I thought came out pretty well. And here it is all put together. From just using a rattle can, I thought the paint came out okay. I had to wet sand it and then uh, sprayed it with a clear after it was done. I took the actual red windshield out of the number five car and put it in here. And the red windshield went really good with the red paint. So that turned out incredibly well. And here is the number five car, which is now the number 14 car. Trying to go with a two-tone paint job here. As you can see on the front fenders, the tape didn't quite stick too well, and it kind of bled over a little bit. But I think I can take care of that with some polishing compound and some wax. And I also painted the frames for each one to match the color scheme I was going with. And here's me using some of the polishing compound to try and fix some of the flaws that were in the paint. I had some orange peel and some other defects I wanted to take care of. I'm using a Dremel, very high speed, low, low pressure. I'm just barely touching this thing. The paint on top, uh, it's actually a gold paint from Testers. It actually turned out really well. There were no... No runs, no orange peel, no anything. I had a hard time with the blue paint a little bit as it was just a Krylon spray paint. and It uh, actually turned out well in the end, but it needed a lot, of, a lot of work to get there. And after the rubbing compound... Just use some Meguiar's Auto Wax to wax the car and kind of buff it out a little bit and make it make it shine. Even though I I used a about three coats of Testers Clear Gloss Enamel on here, uh, after waxing it, really really brought out the shine. And here it is after everything's said and done. Still wasn't able to fix everything at the front of it, but uh, turned out pretty well. There's the interior, and I actually took the windshield out of the other car, which was blue, and put it in this one, and it actually turned out well. It worked out really well. And here it is, all put together. I think it turned out pretty well. The, the gold and the blue are a good color combination. And the, the color on the rims, actually, I was going to paint the rims, but uh, turned out the color matched pretty well to the gold, so I just left them. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. As you can see, the decals I used for the 14 didn't quite stick on well enough when I painted it I removed it and they kind of took some of the paint with it but uh, overall I'm pleased it was a good learning experience for me and uh, one thing I did learn is I need to figure out how to airbrush uh, I think if I could have airbrushed the blue on there it would have turned out a heck of a lot better so here they are I think they both turned out pretty well uh, my next attempt, whenever I get the uh, paper in, is to try and make my own water decals that I can put on here. But uh, the paper hasn't come in yet, and I needed to get this video out. So there'll be an update in the future with uh, my attempts to create my own water decals and apply them to uh, these trucks. So I added weight to both these trucks. I also polished the axles and used a little bit of graphite. Not sure where these trucks are going to end up. They may eventually end up over at 3D Botmaker and his Race Mountain Speedway. 
I may hold on to them and maybe do my own custom racing league. I'm not sure yet. I will probably do some more customs involving the solid muscle trucks as I have quite a few. I think there's a few different paint jobs that would probably look good on this casting. I'll play around with them and I'm sure you'll you'll see them when I make the video. So let me know what you guys think and if you have any ideas for any future customs, let me know. And thank you guys for watching.